Garbage Family Show. Hey, GFS friends. We're at Waste Expo 2025 in Las Vegas, Nevada. And my friends at McNeilis have given us a total hookup to get you up close and personal with the latest technology that's leading the way in the refuse industry. Introducing the all-electric McNeilis Volterra ZFL, the front loader that's the future of commercial refuge. You're going to love this truck, and they're taking me inside to show you how it operates. So what are you, uh, what are you guys looking for here? Oh, uh, we're just looking around. It's my uh, first time here at Waste Expo. First Ever. time? Yeah, first time. This is exciting. It's actually my first time, too. Really? Yeah, it is. Wow. It is. I just uh, started working for Gamilas, and we sell this really awesome truck, so I got excited yeah. about that. And uh, all the opportunities to get this thing on the road. Yeah. So you can see it in your hometown one day. A really Actually, cool this truck. is the very first uh, front loader in North America, fully electric front loader in North America. No way. Yeah, really? Republic's got the first one and it runs in Phoenix. That is so cool. Yeah, absolutely. I love that. McNeilis actually makes the chassis and the body for this one. So it's, this is McNeilis though, so we make this in Murfreesboro, Tennessee. So that screen right there is showing the, where the batteries are. Yeah. Right? So oh, that's where the battery pack is, right there. It's underneath. Yeah, it's underneath the truck. It's got a 498 kilowatt battery size on it. Wow. Which is why it does a full day. So it's a huge battery there. It actually can't expand to get to, to up to 600 kilowatts. You can pick up 10 tons of uh, trash. Yeah. Which is pretty standard. All right, man, check this out. I'll show you how the, uh, <laughs> all the camera views that are on this thing. Yeah. Yeah, and here's all of your uh, push button controls. That's how you turn on the uh, the PTO or the hydraulics. Yeah. Um, joystick operation here. But yeah, check that out. You got uh, rear view, <laughs> top view. That's so cool. Yeah, it's cool stuff. It's man. actually got heated and cooled seats too. Yeah. No way. Heated and cooled seats. You got yep. your radio controls on the steering wheel. Yeah. Do you want to see a steering wheel? Super lane? easy to drive. Yeah, you got uh, you got your light buttons, volume controls, HVAC controls, yeah. uh, windshield wiper. Wow. Yeah, you can cycle through the different uh, camera views here. There's the hopper. Oh, hopper view? Mm-hmm. So you get to watch the trash going in. Nice. Yeah. Uh, dump view, it's a forward facing. I like this camera system. Thanks, man. Yeah, we're uh, it's it's pretty cool. Drivers seem to like it. Um, HVAC controls there. Um, you can adjust the mirror position. Um, Are those the sensors indicating someone's in front of the truck? Yep. So you see how it goes red, yellow? Yeah. Um, so there's an accompanying chime that'll let you know if you're about to hit something. Wow. That's so cool. Got a perfect yeah, view. 360 and degree view all around the truck. So. Wow. Super safe to drive this thing. That's important. Yeah. Well, it it, re it really focuses on the driver's safety and others pe other people's safety around yep. the truck. Uh, I like that. Comfort yeah. and safety. comfort. Yeah. Those are uh, paramount. Uh, it didn't come from a, an existing diesel, for example. So like we we had every chance to to get it right. It's super quiet too. So if you've been in other diesels, obviously, or CNG uh, refuse trucks, this one is actually extremely quiet. So you get to to go through your whole day without uh, the engine noise and the neighborhoods that you drive through you can't you know don't hear it coming like the other ones. But and doesn't wake people up in the neighborhood. It doesn't right? wake you up in the morning, right? So you hear the trash man coming in the morning. You know this uh, this one's going to be a little, a little quieter. Yeah, you got different. Uh Control state, so it'll tell you uh, if something's open or closed. It yeah. even tells you how much pressure you're sending to the, the packer. Um, so these are all of your conditions, and it, it'll let you know, like, hey, um, your top door's open and your your inter interlock. This is why there is some issue, or this is why you can't do something because we have a lot of safety interlocks to make yeah. sure that you can't do the wrong thing or an unsafe condition. So, uh, what do these switches do right here? Yeah, so this is the unlock button. So for cases where you want to use, um, say you want to open the tailgate or the top door, it's a press and hold, and then these rocker switches um, will open and close those. This lifts the, the back axle, um, so raise and lower. You have uh, 
rollback control to prevent the truck from going backwards when you're in drive. Yeah. This is differential lock uh, for extra traction and slippery conditions. You have, it, this is on by default, but this is your stability control or traction control. This is your uh, up and down for your sunshade. There's a sunshade? Yeah. Uh, let's see. I might have to turn the truck on. Whoa! I've never seen this before. It goes down pretty far too. So <laughs> So this is pressing. Yeah, and then you have an exterior controls button. So the buttons on the side here, you can run the arm functions, tailgate, whatever, uh, from the outside of the vehicle. Yeah. Um, and then this one is how you turn on the hydraulics. To, you have to have this on to run any of the arms and stuff. Well. So this, when you have this on, uh, on the joystick itself, you have to hold this switch. So this is an operator present switch. And only when this is depressed, so it's a click, can you actually run anything. Wow. So make sure that you are there and it's an intentional action. All right. Yeah. Such tiny switches and buttons for such big, important jobs. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Like just those two little switches right there control, control the back tailgate. Oh yeah, there's there's more switches here, but to run your arms up and down, it's uh, back to lift and forward to go down. Um, left and right is your forks to move up and down. Um, and then these two buttons here, if you hit either one of these, you can say um, like missed pickup or something if a customer uh, if there wasn't a, a can out or a dumpster out for anyone to pick up, you can report that and it'll grab a GPS location of where that happened. Yeah. Um, and then this is this is another similar to that to miss pickup, but it'll give you a menu of other options to say here's the situation I was in, uh, and it'll track that uh, location. And then, and then a fleet manager can look at that from, it's called telematics, so we have a program where you can get snapshots of where that instance occurred, if that yeah. makes sense. So like, where, where, where did this issue happen? But it's tracking everywhere this truck goes, and you can see the route, you can see how much power you used, um, it's all super connected and it's all available to the end user. However they want to use the data, that's up to them, but it, it is available. Very cool. Thanks for showing me, man. I appreciate yeah, absolutely, it. Absolutely, man. Thank hey, you. nice to meet you. And you, you definitely got a, a, a sub, so. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate it. Thanks, man. Take care. I can't wait to show you what's next. So what are you showing us today? All right, so Waste Expo 25, we're actually looking at Harry, the collection robot. So the name itself, Harry, stands for Hailable Autonomous Refuse Collection Robot, electric. So the idea with this is you got a smartphone, right? So if you're sitting in your house and you've got a garbage bag that you want to get rid of, instead of having to take it outside and put it in the bin, what you're going to do is you're going to take it outside. You're going to wait for Harry to arrive because you requested him. He's going to roll right up to your driveway. You drop that bag right in him and he hauls it away. So you get rid of the days of having to take that garbage can from your house to the curb, waiting for the truck to show up, and then taking that can back to the house. This little guy actually rolls up and does all of that for you, on, just by your phone. That's impressive. It's pretty neat. So, and you can see it going on up here too. It's got so many safety features built into it. It's got cameras and LIDAR and radar to make sure that as a person walks in front of it, it's gonna stop, right? So, the lights that you see on it right here, green means it's approachable. It's safe, it's not gonna move. Once it goes from green to blue, and the but there's a button on the other side if you actually wanna push it. Yeah, put, go ahead and push the button. Yep, go ahead and push it. Okay, now it's identifying that you put stuff in there. You push the button and said, okay, it's full. It's gonna go from green to blue to let you know it goes into autonomous mode. And there it goes. Now it's gonna go in its cycle. So if you were to walk in front of it like we've seen in the video, it's gonna stop automatically and it's gonna to go to green, saying now it's approachable. But once it goes into autonomous mode, it's gonna finish his cycle, he's gonna to roll to the other side and he's gonna do the same thing. So in your home, if you requested this and he rolled up to your house, when you throw the trash away, he's gonna to go to a central location where now it empties by itself and then it's gonna charge, it docks up to a charging spot, 
and then it waits for that next request and goes right through the neighborhood to pick up more trash. So there's a lot of opportunities with this. It's a demonstration, of course, of technology. This is not a robot that's ready to hit the road right now. It's just getting ready for the potential of being able to get out there. Yeah, that's really what we're trying to showcase with this. Do you have to take the cans out to the curb? Sometimes. You do? It's, yeah. a, it's You don't like doing it, do you? Nope. No, think about that now, removing that completely. Wow. It'd be neat. It'd be oh, very yeah. neat. But now removing that routine of having to take the garbage out every single day. One less chore for me. Hey, that's what, exactly what we're trying to accomplish. It's yeah. less work for you at home. Yeah. And there's so many different potential applications. Appreciate it. All right, thank you for your time. This technology will blow you away. It's going to help so many drivers. Hey, welcome to the McNeil's booth here at Waste Expo. We're showing off our Cart Seeker technology. Cart Seeker is available on our hydraulic ZR arms today. It's a camera AI recognition system. We're detecting where the container is relative to the truck. This would be on your display screen in the cab. It allows the operator to be looking forward at the screen and help, help alignment with that container as they're pulling forward. That's right, uh, we know where the cart's at. As that operator pulls forward, they can be looking at this. We identify, uh, the, the indicator goes from yellow to green, indicating, hey, this is a container in the specific alignment window. This will allow you to start an automated collection cycle with a single press of the button. Um, so we'll show that here. Um, if you wanna go ahead, you can pull the trigger and press that bottom button. So the real benefit of the car seeker is it lets an inexperienced operator get in that cab um, and work at a higher efficiency with less training. It also helps keep their eyes forward on the road. Um, and also with experienced operators, less fatigue over the entire day. You know, there are anywhere from 1,000 to 1,200 cycles in a day. Um, they're able to keep their eyes forward versus over their shoulder. Helps ergonomically and really improve that experience for the operator. The other thing we're demonstrating here is a fully electric ZR arm. Right now it's a tech demonstrator, um, early prototype, but advantages of direct electric actuation. We have full position feedback, um, quieter, um, smoother operation, reduces vibration, and more energy efficient. It's definitely going to help us out in the future. Wow. Thanks for stopping by. It's so fast, too. What's up? Good to see you, man. How you doing, man? Good, how are you? I haven't seen you in, what, six months or so? You're yeah. You're looking at new trucks? So that's, uh, that's like the one you got in in Arizona, except that's on a different chassis. So the one you got in, in Arizona had a battle chassis, and that has a Peterbilt chassis. Peterbilt, yeah. And it has that cool arm that you like on the other. Remember that long arm that came out 12 feet? Oh, yeah. That's yeah. the same it's the same truck. So the I arc. think she's going to allow you to go get in that one if you want to. So. You just can't drive it. it away. That's all I ask. Yeah. <laughs> Good to see you, buddy. Good to see you, too, man. Yeah, sure. Let's do it. Do you want me to walk through um, kind of how the cab works? Yeah, sure. Yeah, absolutely. So like our controls here, you got like a pump on feature that allows you to run the pump. Um, and then depending on what options you're doing, like these run your top door um, and your tailgates right here, and then this will run your packer. But once you turn on your pump, you're able to turn on your arm and that'll allow you to make the joystick fly. So when you grab that joystick there, you're able to run the arm outside. And the joystick's got a lot of features. So forward and back, run the grabber up and down. Yeah. Left or right, run the arm actually out or in. And then the thumb roller here will activate the grabber to open and close it. And then we have some actually automated features here. So pushing the top button will I activate the auto dump. So once you grab that can, it'll dump in, just like that one there, dump back in and it'll come back out. Oh. And then the bottom one here will run the packer button. So like say you got a bunch of trash in there, you can hit the packer button and it'll automatically continue to pack. So that way you can clean your hopper to dump more cans. Yeah? Yeah. That's so cool. I love that. Yeah. Yeah. This is a nice cab. It is. It is. <laughs> um, we mount on multiple cabs. Purebill 520, um, right? And, yeah, and integrate with, with multiple OEMs to uh, help really give the drivers the best ergonomics so that way they're able to do their jobs more safely and efficiently. Yeah.
And this is our cam the camera system up here? Yep, the camera system. So like the most, um, our typical cameras are like one for backup for, so when you put the truck and drive, it'll automatically display that backup camera. And then the other primary one you'll get is a hopper camera. So that way the driver can see exactly what's going on in the hopper. So if he knows he needs to continue to pack more or if he can pick up more cans and continue on his day. So. Well, that's so also cool. lets him know like if something dumps in there that shouldn't be, he can stop and get get that out. Right. Yeah, like let's say uh, somehow a can gets in there by accident. Exactly. Like say that you grab a can and the can for whatever reason let go from the grabber, you're able to hit the e-stop there, see it in the hopper, and then climb in and, and get that out. Like all the keypads here, they light up, so like they they tell you exactly what's going on. So they'll light up green to make sure everything's good or like if something's um, like red, like say your top door's down, we won't let you, we have the interlocks in place to ensure that you don't dump a can with that top door down and get trash behind it or otherwise you'd have to clean it out. And so we have kind of um, it features built into the software to help ensure the operator um, runs smooth. The cab everything. So. Um, yeah. Wow. Yeah. And the, is this uh, one of the new trucks? Because it smells like this truck is like brand new. Obviously. Yeah, this is a brand new truck. Um, <laughs> it's got some innovative features on the arm. It actually has our cart seeker technology. So we, yeah. so the main monitor I was talking about was, was for your backup for your hopper camera. This little other monitor here is for our cart seeker technology, which allows you, we actually put like a green line on the monitor screen. And what it's able to do is you line up the can with that green line and you can, with a click of a button, go out, it'll grab the can, dump, and return all with just the press of a button. Thanks so much, dude. I appreciate it. This, yeah, this absolutely. Is, this is so sick. I love it. That basically wraps up McNeilis here because I've been all around here to the truck, arm, this one, nice. that robot. That, that's basically it. Wow. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, absolutely. McNeilis is crushing it here at Waste Expo. Thank you guys for showing me around and I appreciate everything you do. And I love the truck. Big thanks to Katie Kozlerik for making this possible.